I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series for grade 3 students. Well, we have some videos for all the students up to grade 12. You can always contact me on the email address given here or at the website to learn more. In this particular video, we are going to understand how to sort figures. We are going to use Venn diagrams to sort the figures. Venn diagrams, isn't that a new term for us? Yes, it is. We'll understand how to use Venn diagrams to sort figures. Well, for sorting figures, we need to understand some attributes. Attributes? Well, what are attributes? Let's look into that and then we'll get into sorting figures, right? So attributes are ways of identifying the figure or writing its characteristics. So attributes are like shape. Shape could be an attribute. Color, placement, or we can say sides. For the shapes, these are also attributes. Sides, corners, angles, right? All these are attributes by which we can describe a particular shape. Now, if you can describe a particular shape, you can sort them also with the help of those descriptions, right? So that is what we are going to do. As you can see here, we have two oval shapes, right? So this is one oval shape thing. And there are some figures which are placed into this oval shape. Now, there's another one which is on the side. Both are placed side by side with something overlapping. Now, these oval shapes are used for sorting the shapes. Treat, treat them as a basket, right? So when I say put one kind of things in one basket and the other kind of things in the other basket, you could do so. But there is something in between also. As you can see here, we can place few things which are common to both. And that makes it very interesting. Now, when you do the sorting in this fashion, then we say we are using Venn diagrams to sort. Doesn't make sense to you, correct? It will make more sense as we move along. Here are a few shapes. Try to describe them. Well, can you tell me how did I place these shapes into different groups? What gives them that new characteristics so that I can place them all in different groups? And do you notice that in this one big box, I also have something which is not there in the oval shape? Well, something here. Why is it here? That is what we learn as we move along. Perfect. Now let's do the sorting. Keep it simple and then we will understand all these things. Now, what do you read here? Straight edge with equal sides, four sided figures, parallel sides, and right angles. These are the attributes which we are going to use to sort these shapes, right? And then there will be an assignment for you. You have to make your own rule and then use the Venn diagrams to sort the figures. I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's begin. So here is the very first one where we are going to sort figures based on edges and vertices. Edges, edges are around the shape, right? So those edges could be curved edges or straight edges. You know about it, right? So edges could be curved or straight. So one attribute which I am now considering is curved edge, edges, right? Curved edges. And the second one is vertices. Well, what are vertices? Well, whenever two edges meet, they form a vertex. And that is what we call vertices, right? This is the vertex, the corner, right? You can say the corner, correct? So that is the other attribute which we are looking into. 
So everything with the curved edge will be placed in the first oval and everything with vertices will be placed in the next. So what goes into the middle? Well, shapes which have curve and also vertices, right? So common to both. So that is common. And what goes outside? Something which doesn't have these things. In this case, all the shapes which we are considering have one of these parameters at least, right? Now here is kind of summary for you to understand. Can you read this? The figures in the loop on the left have curved edges. So these figures which we are talking about, right? So they have curved edges. Do you agree with me? So I have placed them in the first oval shape. Now, second statement here is, let's look into this portion now, which says what? The figures in the loop on the right have vertices. So all these figures, do you see these vertices, correct? So these figures have vertices. It makes sense, right? So we have four vertices for a trapezoid, correct? A hexagon has six, triangle has three. So all of them have vertices. Do you see something special about these things which are placed in the center? Well, they have vertices and they have curved surface also, right? So that becomes a curved surface and this is the vertex, right? So because the two surfaces actually meet at a corner and you so have the vertices also. So that is what we meant. So in between, the figures in the middle have both curved edges and vertices. Is that clear to you, right? So this is what we're calling about. Figure in the middle has both curved and vertices, correct? So I hope now the concept is clear. The next one is for you to understand and describe. Okay, so there we go. So do you see, again, we sorted into two ovals, something in common in between, and we have something which is even outside, as you can see here, right? There's something which is even outside. Now take a moment to describe them. And the way I sorted them out, we say we are using Venn diagrams to sort the figures. Perfect. Makes sense. Okay. Now let's see how we did it. We have to look into the attributes of these things in the oval shape. Now, the attributes for the one on the left side oval are all equal edges. Do you see that? These are regular figures, right? We also call them as regular figures, right? Let me write down here regular. Regular figures have all equal sides and also equal angles, right? Okay, let me write regular figures. So we have placed all regular figures on the left side and that is the description for you, right? So it says the figures in the loop on the left have all equal sides. Perfect. You understand it? Now, what is there on the right side loop? We have mentioned here the right side loop has four sides, right? So we have the figures in the loop on the right have four sides. So do you see all of them have four sides, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So what comes in the middle? Well, of course, all which have four sides and also equal. So those things which have four equal sides will go in the center, right? So that is how you have to sort them. So that goes in the center. Is that clear to you? The figure in the middle have four equal sides. Perfect. Now, what do you think is outside then? Outside means it does not have four sides, nor does it have equal sides, right? That is what it meant. And I've written there, a pentagon is outside the loop as it does not have equal or four sides. Does it make sense? Have a good look at it and try to see how we have placed them and sorted them using Venn diagrams. Clear? That is what we mean when we say sort them using 
Venn diagrams. Now, exercise for you. Exercise for you is to pause the video and sort these figures in a different way. Can you do it? Okay, try. So now you have to sort them and use your attributes. You could use uh, attributes like parallel lines, correct? So the figures with parallel lines could be one attribute and also right angle, for example, correct? So we could have right angle. Okay, so we'll take a moment here, give you some time. You need to now do this particular question, correct? Sort them using Venn diagrams so that you put on one side all the figures which have parallel lines. And on the other side, put the figures which have right angles. Is that clear to you? Something in common goes in the middle, which is? Which is a parallel side and the right angle. What could that be? A rectangle, correct? A rectangle will have parallel sides and the right angle also. So, you have understood how to do this. Some of these figures might go outside also. The figures which do not have parallel sides or right angles. For example, this one, do you see that? That may go outside. So accordingly, arrange them. Take your time. And when you're done, you can actually look how I did a same thing with different figures. Okay, so let me move on and share with you what I did. Well, here is how I sorted them out. So I have a loop in which I've placed all the figures which have parallel sides on the left and the right angles on the right. Do you see that? So this is the one which has the right angles. This is the one which has parallel sides. And what goes in the middle? Well, of course, in the middle, we have parallel sides with right angles, as you can see. Correct? So that is how we could sort it. Correct? As an exercise, try to do this with different figures. Right? Create your own figures and then do it. It will be very interesting. I hope you find this exercise very interesting and useful. Now it is time for you to do your assignment. You make your own rule and sort some figures, which are shown here, okay? Sort these figures by making a different rule. You can use the attributes like straight edges, equal sides, four sides. You can make it five or six sides also, right? Parallel sides, you can say one pair of parallel sides. You can say two pairs of parallel sides, correct? You can say right angles. You can also use the terms like acute and obtuse angles, which you have just learned. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if there's any difficulty, feel free to contact me. I can always help you out. Thanks for your time and all the best.